What is a prenup and should you and your spouse to be have one? A prenuptial agreement or a prenup for short is a contract signed by two people before getting married to set out how their properties, businesses, assets, and debts will be managed or divided during the marriage or in divorce or death. In South Carolina, it's also known as an antenuptial agreement. In this video, we'll cover what South Carolina law has to say about prenups, what prenups can and cannot include, and how to draft one that will stand up in court. Make sure that you watch to the end of this video to grab a template for a South Carolina prenuptial agreement. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos by eForums, the world's largest database of official legal documents. Let's look for a moment at what South Carolina law says about prenups. South Carolina is among the states that have not adopted the Uniform Premarital Agreement Act, which establishes standard requirements for prenups. That means that South Carolina statutes and case law dictate its own terms with regard to prenups. According to the law, a prenup must be in writing and signed by both parties before the marriage in order to be legally valid. The agreement takes effect only if the couple marries. So what can and cannot be included in a South Carolina prenuptial agreement? A prenup in South Carolina can cover a variety of different issues, including division of property, assets and debts, terms of alimony, death benefits from insurance, and more. As with most other states, South Carolina does not allow child custody or support arrangements to be determined in a prenup. The courts reserve the right to determine child custody based on what's in the child's best interest at the time of the divorce. Next, let's go over how you can draft a prenup that will stand up in court. In South Carolina, prenuptial agreements are typically upheld if the court decides that the agreement is reasonably fair, each spouse signed the agreement voluntarily, all assets and liabilities were disclosed, each spouse has a generally accurate picture of each other's finances, and lastly, the terms of the agreement don't promote divorce. Keep in mind that prenuptial agreements in South Carolina can be modified or revoked any time during any time after the couple is married, as long as it's put in writing and signed by both parties. You can get an agreement that will be accepted by a South Carolina court at the link right here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can access more videos that guide you through some of life's most complicated and potentially costly situations.